Welcome to a Physical Sciences video brought to you by Simplifying School. In this video, we will look at the resultant of perpendicular vectors, a topic which is covered in the Grade 11 syllabus in South Africa. Let's say we have a vector of 3 units to the right and 4 units up. We can arrange the vectors according to the head to tail method. If we go straight from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector, we will draw in the resultant. As you can see, this forms a triangle, so we can use the theorem of Pythagoras. The theorem of Pythagoras says, the first side squared plus the second side squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Or, if we put it in scientific terms, vector 1 squared plus vector 2 squared is equal to the resultant vector squared. That is if vector 1 and vector 2 are the perpendicular vectors. So we can go and do the calculation. 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to the resultant squared, which would give me 25. Take the square root of 25, so the resultant vector's magnitude would be 5. We can use trig to find the direction. Remember that tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent. And since we're working from the horizontal, unless otherwise ask, always work from the horizontal, it's just easier to keep, always just easier to stay in the same habit. So we can say tan theta is equal to 4 over 3. And when you calculate that, you will get the direction of the resultant. If this video helped you, why not share it with everyone in your class? And remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos covering topics you are studying.